I think someone's found a wee uh, new spot here for sleeping. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Okay, so I might look a little bit sweaty this morning. I have just been kneading bread though for the past hour and I am drenched. I reckon I've sweat a couple of litres of water out. So, there was a little peep of the horn there while I was uh, kneading the bread and uh, I've come out and the guys are here to start building our carport. So I will uh, spin you around and let you see what's happening and give you a wee explanation of what we're doing. Okay, so we are building a driveway, the width of the gate, all the way up here to the front of the house. And then it's going to open out to the full width between the wall and the house. But when I say full width, I think we're going to have maybe a foot each side uh, to, as a runoff for drainage and we're going to put stones and then along here we're going to put some uh, some shrubs and things. It's going to go back level with the back of the house and across there. Now they're putting an industrial concrete base down like a, a road base so it will be able to withstand concrete trucks and tractors and things coming in through here when we start doing the work out the back. It's going to have a roof that goes right up to the ceiling of the house and it's going to be underneath this eave so that the water runs off the, the roof of the house onto the roof of the carport and then runs off just before the wall there and we're going to have sort of like drainage down that side there. Now there's method in my madness here for having this roof up here and that is in the winter which is now the sun rises up here and it travels across here and in the summer, it rises up here and it travels across there. Now that side doesn't bother me because all it does is it hits the kitchen uh, and the bedrooms, but the bedrooms are smaller and they're, they're easier to air condition cool. The living room's quite big and it's not so easy to cool. And hopefully this roof going across here will keep the sun off this wall to the living room, resulting in, in hopefully lower temperatures in the living room during the day. Hi guys. Okay, so day two of getting our carport built and we have the the six sort of feet getting concreted into place for the carport. It's uh, it's gonna be quite quite substantial. Quite a big area. So this concrete's gonna be uh bloody thick by the way it's going to be very thick but like I said before it's got to support uh, trucks and things coming in when we start working out the back here so that's it for day two guys I will uh, I will see you tomorrow again good morning guys okay day four I think it's day four of having the, the carport built so we'll let you spin you around and see what's happening. I believe the, the concrete's coming today for the base. So here we go. I had no idea how big this area was until they flattened this out and put this uh, this frame up. They've got a, a tarp here along the side of the house. They've got polystyrene. Uh, sheets along the side of the, the bottom of the house here with a line drawn along for the level a tarp hung up to stop the, the wall getting splashed with concrete and uh, yeah it's going to be big i will bring you back shortly when the concrete truck arrives okay here we have the first lorry load of concrete I think we're going to put an outside toilet across this back corner here because I think this area will get used for uh, for parties.
And concrete truck number three. Number four. They're putting a, a black sort of dye powder in it for us. So I think what we're going to end up with here is like a, a loft effect. I agreed to this, but I'm not 100% sure now, but we'll see what it's like when it all when it's all dried and when they've, uh, when they've smoothed it all off. So number four, about to start unloading. And number five. I think this is the last one. So that was <coughs> that was five concrete trucks. And they're now throwing this black powder on, which is going to stain it. And what they're going to do after it is they're, uh, I believe, they said they are going to do what's called glazing it. So I believe it's going to have this kind of loft effect. But it's a big, big area. Much bigger than it looks when there's, uh, when there's just dirt on it like this. I mean, that doesn't look that big, but as soon as they clear it, I mean, this is bigger than the footprint of the house. <laughs> So it's plastic bag on the feet and rubber glove time, folks. Uh, I believe they're now going on to polish it. This powder must be quite uh, quite hard to get off, so uh, rubber gloves required and bags on the feet required. But it's looking good. A little bit patchy at the minute, but the, the camera here is really not doing it any justice. You can see where they've thrown the black powder on. But once it's been polished, it's actually going to look very, very good. Very impressed. So, I will be back very shortly, guys. So that's it had its first skim, uh, I think they're probably going to give it an hour uh, just to go off a little bit and then they will polish it with these sponges up the back. Hi right, guys, okay so day 7 on the driveway and parking area and we have a guy up the back spray painting all the, the steel for building the frame for the carport. We have another guy down here cutting and welding the, the cross beams for the carport. These big ones here, these are for the, the uprights, the six uprights. And we are getting the driveway built. So I will bring you back at the end of the day after this concrete has been poured and let you see it. 
Okay guys, this is uh, truck number seven and uh, hopefully for the time being this is the last one. Now, something unusual's happened here because normally it's uh, the Falang that buys the beers but the guy in the concrete van has turned up and he's brought me some beer. What a nice guy. So I will bring you back shortly guys. Cheers. Well, end of day seven, and we have a driveway now. May not look the same colour as this, but once this is cleaned up, they will both be the same colour, honestly. Trust me. They're using this area as a workshop just now, obviously, to build the framework for the, the carport. Or the outside house, as I like to call it, because it's more than a carport, it's massive. But the more concrete that goes down, the less gardening we have to do. So I'm going to put this video out now, guys, and uh, I will see you in a week's time. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this kind of video, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification for future videos, and I will see you very shortly. Cheers for now, guys.